that's gonna be one thing that's really, really gonna help. Just give your hair a little bit of a break. Okay, our friend uh, Ashley from North Carolina is one of our viewers. Uh, Ashley, are you ready? I am. <laughs> All right, go baby, go. Take the floor. Hi. Hey guys, so my name's Ashley and I'm from North Carolina. My question is what, I've had two babies in less than two years. So during that time, when I was pregnant, I had this big voluminous hair. And then when I had, see, that's the last time I had a good hair day, y'all. That is the last time. Um, so I promise. So my question is, what can I do to create volume in my hair? Because since I've had my babies, it's really thinned. Um, and I crave that voluminous look. So that's my question is, how do I create that volume? What techniques do you suggest? Well, it's something that, you know, so many um, people face and pregnancy a lot of times is a major culprit because like you say, when people are pregnant, they, the hair doesn't shed. So when you have the baby, yeah. a lot of that hair does start to shed and also mm -hmm. the hair can become more prone to breakage. So there's yeah. no super quick, easy fixes with hair because it only grows a quarter to a half an inch a month. And then once that wow. post-pregnancy hair starts to shed, so it really is like a multi-pronged approach, right? So okay. you do want to try to get into some air dry styles. Like there's these really cool things where you can like put a like put a little bit of mousse or like a volumizing spray or just um mm -hmm. like a like an like an air dry cream of some kind. I JVN Hair makes okay. one, it's really good. I'm obsessed with it. But put it okay. in, and then you can take like a handkerchief and you can cut it in strips, and you can literally take okay. a little handkerchief, or you can take like a paper towel. I was like wiping my little eye makeup off with this. But um, you can take a handkerchief and literally like, wrap your hair around the handkerchief, roll it, roll it up, tie the handkerchief at your hair like this, go to sleep, wake up, take it out. You'll have big, gorgeous like ringlets. Um, so just and wow, even if you see, like, wow, I didn't know like, that. <laughs> look up like look up like air dry or like no heat styles. Look that up because that's going to be one thing that's really, really going to help. Just give your hair a little bit of a break. Um, a nice volumizing shampoo and conditioner. Also, JVN Hair makes one called Embody that I'm obsessed <laughs> with. Is really, really so good. Um, also, a pre-wash scalp oil of some kind or like a pre-wash yeah. treatment is also really helpful because that's going to help to nourish your scalp and your new growth. Ah. And obviously... Okay. You know, your scalp is where the hair comes from, so you want to nourish that. So if you can look for something that has, like, anti-breakage properties in it and caffeine, if you can look for this okay. in a pre-wash treatment, because the caffeine will help to increase blood flow to the scalp, which it kind of makes your, like, roots more perky. So even from a pre-wash scalp oil, you wouldn't crazy. settle you making her volume. You can coffee on your head, basically. <laughs> I don't know if that would work the same way, but caffeine's just going to help to give you like more perk and more lift. It really, really will. So then on the technique front, I'm just going to give this lightning round, but on the technique front, um, a lot of times people, like, you know, the nozzle on a blow dryer, if you have like really thick curly hair or you're blowing your hair straight, then you want the nozzle. If your hair is going through a finer spell or you want your hair to be bigger, take that nozzle off. So it's just the blow dryer by itself. Oh, always make sure, okay. always make sure, 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 though, that you're putting on heat protection. Always practice safe heat styling, especially if you're having breakage, like from, you know, after okay. baby or just breakage from um, chemicals or, you know, lightning, whatever. Always use heat protection because it makes a huge difference. You want to get one that's going to be really absorbent into the hair. You want to get one that's silicone free. Silicone will sit on top of the hair and it will actually make your hair drier over time. Wow. So that's not great, which is also can make it more fragile over time. So you really want to use heat protection that's silicone free, pop your hair upside down, take that nozzle off. That's going to help to get your okay. hair bigger and fluffier. The upside down is going to help to get more volume. And then you want to think about, I think that curls and waves typically are going to give you mm -hmm. more bulk and more body. So then when you're thinking okay. about that, again, heat protection, when you have finer hair, you want to take really little sections. You don't want to do big chunks because that's going to make it okay. look like thinner. So do really like little se uh, sections and only do at the maximum one round of heat styling like a day. So you're not going to like curl oh, it in the morning okay. and curl it at night. Like one time okay. with heat protection, we love upside down, get rid of that nozzle unless your hair is like super curly, thick, or prone to frizz. But when you want your hair to be bigger, you kind of like the frizz, right? Oh my right? God, you're the greatest. Body. Yeah. You know? Jonathan is the greatest yeah. and Ashley's going to have to watch this five times <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love talking now. about hair. I'm so sorry. I could talk about it forever. I'm sorry. No, no, you were <laughs> amazing. Nice to meet you. And congratulations on your babies. Congratulations, Thank honey. You.